I do tend to um, be open, be social with people who, uh, whether it's at a restaurant, whether it's somebody who's parking my car, whatever, and I tend to call them by their first name. And why is that? First of all, it's a strategic thing because years and years and years and years ago, I didn't remember everybody's name. So when I repeat it and say, hey Jennifer, or hey, hey Amy, or hey Michelle, or whatever as a server, it, it, it sort of connects the, the, the two people and I think it puts them at ease and they, they frankly probably will enjoy their job, enjoy the experience a little bit more. Um, no different than last night, um, and this isn't the reason I do it, but it's a nice reason um, once in a while. Um, I'll tell you two quick stories. So last night's game at the Dallas Cowboy game, I was with my son and I knew we'd have to walk, you know, after the game, we'd have to walk through some, some dark area and I pulled into a parking lot and had to basically pay like a thousand dollars to park. Um, thanks, Jerry. And the re actually, I take that back. It's not Jerry Jones. It's Tom Hicks. Most people aren't aware of that. It's Tom Hicks who owns the a bunch of those uh, parking lots. But um, so I said to the guy um, as I was paying my car, and I said, "Hey, Jimmy," because um, he had a badge on. I said, "You know, is it okay if I park right there?" And there was a cone, cone there, and he was obviously saving it for somebody or whatever. And he said, yeah, just do me a favor, you can park there, you're really nice, and, but just don't tell anybody that, that you let me park there or something like that. So he, he saved me probably 10 minutes, but also because I was with my son and we'd be walking down a dark area that I just didn't feel comfortable. So um, about a week ago on, um, on Black Friday, I was at Kohl's. So I was talking to the cashier with my sister and um, at the end of the discussion, I think her name was Cindy, she said, um, do you have any coupons? And I said, no, I don't have any coupons. She goes, well, now you do. And she pulled out a coupon and basically saved me $25. And I said, um, hey, Cindy, can I ask you something? She goes, yeah. I said, I assume you don't give the coupon to everybody. She goes, no, I don't. How do you determine who gets the coupon and who doesn't? And she laughed a little bit. I said, well, it's okay. I think I know the answer, but just could you tell me? And she said, yeah, if you're nice. I said, okay, well, let me ask you the follow-up question, which is, Cindy, what percentage of the people are nice? And she laughed and she said less than 30%. So the reason I tell you those two goofy stories is um, I personalize um, experiences for me because first of all, it's a way of me remembering names. And it's a way, if I do that, whether it's a server or whether it's somebody who's parking my car or anything else, somebody who's checking me in an airport or a hotel room, it's um, it helps me remember names when I'm at a conference, when I just meet somebody for the first time or they come up to a presentation afterwards. So it's a trained, it's, there's strategic behind it. The other thing is my parents, representing my parents, it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to be nice. It's the right thing not to complain about everything, okay? The reality is most people do. When you check into an airport or you, you see, or even a hotel, you see a lot of people giving people behind the desk a really hard time. I never do that. And you know what, as a bonus to that, typically, if you ask for some things and you're nice about it, they'll, they'll say yes. So will I get a suite in a hotel room once in a while, more so than five other people might because I was nice? The answer is yes. Will I get a closer parking spot once in a while? Yeah, and that's just a bonus.